Hey, it's Andrew from Predenting. In this video, we're going to cover what prerequisites you need for dental school. So if you're a pre-dental, you know not only the basic prerequisites, but also the more complex ones so that when it comes time to apply, there's not a prerequisite that some dental schools require that might surprise you when it's too late. And I'm gonna start with the five basic prerequisites nearly all dental schools require before moving on to some of the more advanced and more unique prerequisites before finishing with three curveball prerequisites that most pre-dentals don't even know about and only find out when they're actually applying to dental schools and by that time, it's too late. To kick off this video, I want to give you a gift, something that will actually help you get accepted to dental school. I wanna give you my personal statement guide. This is a guide that will give you an outline and strategic tips that you can use for writing your personal statement, which my one-on-one -on -one students use to elevate their personal statement and get accepted. You can use it, it's free, it's easy, it's a no-brainer. Just go to predenting.com forward slash PS guide and get my personal statement guide. Predenting.com forward slash PS guide. I hope that's helpful for you. So the first of the five basic prerequisites you're going to need is one full year of general chemistry and general chemistry lab, which is typically completed during freshman year. Some schools call this inorganic chemistry, even though it's technically different, but you're gonna need general chemistry. Secondly, you're going to typically need one full year of math, which can be divided into two or three courses, depending on the specific dental school, either two calculus or pre-calculus courses, and then usually one introductory statistics course or statistics for biology majors or something of that sort. Again, this is typically completed during freshman year along with the general chemistry. The next three prerequisites are typically taken during sophomore year, starting with one full year of introductory biology lecture and intro biology lab. The next prerequisite you'll need is one full year of intro physics and intro physics lab. So both the lecture and the lab component for physics as well. You're also going to need one full year of organic chemistry lecture and lab. As we get into the second part of the prerequisites, these are going to include prerequisites that most people take during their junior and senior years. So first, you'll need one semester biochemistry lecture. No lab is required here. After that, you'll want to take physiology, even though only a select number of dental schools require that as a prerequisite. And after that, I would recommend taking gross anatomy, since there are some dental schools that require gross anatomy as a prerequisite. And lastly, I would recommend taking microbiology since there are some dental schools that require microbiology as a prerequisite. And finally, there are three prerequisite type courses that catch most pre-dentals off guard. They only find out about these prerequisites when it's too late and they're already applying and they're matching their courses with the required prerequisites in the actual dental school application. We'll go over these courses and what I ask is share this video with other pre-dental students or your friends who could benefit from knowing this so that they don't go through undergrad without knowing these courses only to be surprised by these requirements when they go to apply. So the first is gonna be the English or writing requirement. Some dental schools require up to three courses combined between English and writing courses. The next is going to be the psychology requirement. There are a few dental schools that require an introductory psychology course, including UCLA and UC San Francisco School of Dentistry. Lastly, there's an introduction to sociology requirement, which is a prerequisite for Michigan, University of Michigan at Ann Arbor. Another question that comes up during this time is, do AP credits or IB credits count for these requirements? It's important to know that a lot of dental schools actually do not accept AP or IB credits. So you may need to retake those courses that you originally passed out of because of your good AP scores. As a reminder, I have a free gift for you. It's a no brainer. It's my personal statement guide that helps dental applicants elevate their personal statement. You can get it for absolutely free, predating.com forward slash PS guide. I hope this video was helpful. Take care.